A boat engine stealing ring in Portland? That claim this evening from a fisherman in the eastern parish as thieves continue to plague the industry. But what are the stolen engines used for? Krista Campbell explores the issue and how it impacts fishers in the final of a four-part special report. Six drug busts in Portland since July, valued at close to $60 million, which police say are dense in the guns for drugs trade. At least two of those busts involving boats, which have also been seized. Meanwhile, fishermen in the parish say there's been an increase in the theft of boat engines, and there's a connection between the two issues. A fisherman speaking to TVJ News anonymously says because it's not so easy for thieves to sell the stolen boat engines. We might um, trade the engine for gas, weed, marijuana. You know, they might use it for other aspects. They might carry it to ET and um, get guns for it. He believes it's part of the reason for the increase in drug running in Portland. Now, TVJ News made several attempts to get the Portland police to comment on the matter, but we were told they needed more information before responding. Meanwhile, A boat without an engine makes the already difficult life of a fisherman that much harder. It's one of the many challenges of the trade, and the fishermen are appealing for help. Cy Mortlock says his boat engine was stolen two years ago. This big boat, I can't probably to see them. So I have to park this because they took the engine from it. So I have to use this little small one where I can maneuver. I may not stand much chance catching fish in this small boat because, you know, it's just right in and around the area and there is not much fish. He says a new engine costs $540,000 and since he's hardly catching fish and is unable to do excursions without an engine, he's gone into construction to try and make ends meet. In Old Harbor Base in Catherine, fisher folk have developed a strategy around thieves who used to take their boat engines. Where do you come from, see? If you, are, if, if you come in the morning and you are going back in the evening, you, 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 you wouldn't worry to take off the engine. But if you won't be going back until in the other day, you would take off the engine and, put, and lock it in your shed and you carry it home. But he notes that boat engines are sometimes stolen from inside a locked shed. He said leaving out the boat engine one or two nights does not necessarily make the fishermen a target. But if it becomes a pattern, thieves will notice. If, 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 if it leaves on the boat, they would definitely move the boat with the engine. Everybody get acquainted to taking your engine home. Because I come like your girlfriend, you know. I really could be a mother, you know. If you don't have it, you don't have a livelihood. Because them take away to come like them take away your wife, don't it? And every day it costs you five hundred dollar. But bring it come and bring it go back. And there's another long standing problem. Well, the challenge when most of the fishermen are faced for the south side is a piracy from the really town man. Them. them come and they haul apart and take whatsoever in the pot. And when they're done, they just throw it over, rope, tie up everything, and they're just gone. They say they're mostly targeted during bad weather at sea. Because when I go kill yourself in a bridge and see and go there. And then leave from Portland Cottage, Rocky Pine, Kingston, and come out the come, 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 come ready. Right and even with special markings on their fish pots, the fishermen say it's hard for the police to catch and charge the culprits. You have a old man with the, with the article bringing come along, and then the fisherman will identify say, yes, I'm my own. Before that, you have no case. President of the Old Harbor Bay Fisher Folk Association, Kevin Baker, is suggesting the use of buoys containing... The boat number, not the ID number. The boat number and the port that you come from. For instance, OHB 126. And you, you have an area where, where the governor know that this is Mr. Baker fishing in ground. You understand? But they have to do it by either June or area view or something for enhanced the fishing. He says it will also help the Coast Guard know what areas each fisher is licensed to fish. Meanwhile, he points to a section of the fishing beach where there is hardly any theft. And in the middle of the beach down here by the Pearl Harbor, you have some individual down here and a community based thing. They set up cameras and they have lights because they're fishing straight through, you know. But they are not. Back in Portland, Cy Mortlock says the police have limited resources to respond to calls about theft. But when they do... Police will come down here on Winifred Beach during the night. And they have the, 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 the flasher on. Now, if me achieve something, and I see police are come with them flasher on. I don't run down my business. Krista Campbell, TVJ News.